TMJ disorders really uh, encompasses a large, uh, uh, a large number of different symptoms, um, anywhere from uh, headaches, migraines, um, neck, neck and shoulder issues to lower back problems um, are, are um, really attributed a lot to TMJ. Even, even some, of, some of the diseases that you may have heard of, uh, uh, like fibromyalgia, um, the basic premise, uh, the, the simplest way I can explain it to you is that um, in the masticatory system, in, in our, the system of our, 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 the functioning of our mouth, there are three components. We have the teeth, we have the joint, the TMJ, and we have the muscles. When there is a disharmony between the position of the teeth and the path of function for the muscle, generally temporomandibular joint disorders happen. What happens is that um, the teeth are, are the heart tissue stop of this joint. This joint is very different than all our other joints. Most of your other joints in your body, they have a very specific axis of rotation, meaning that, let's say, I move my wrist. It's always going to go back and forth around the same axis of rotation. The jaw joint is very different. There is no specific axis. There is no actual connection between your jaw and, and, and your skull. It's held together by the muscles, sort of like in a sling. That's why we, we can accommodate these malpositions. Um, and, you know, depending on, on that disharmony, how bad that disharmony is, most of us, actually, as I said before, 95% of us have this disharmony to different degrees. So depending on that amount, uh, amount of that disharmony, we can accommodate, most of us can accommodate that disharmony. So our, our jaw can go into a position where our teeth perfectly meet. And once they meet together, they basically write that basic program into our musculature so that our musculature always knows where to go. Well, when that disharmony gets to be too much, then musculature get into problems. Um, and, you know, as you know, joints and, and bone and, and cartilages, generally we don't have nerves and and basic pain from them, even though in some severe cases we do uh, have soreness and pain in those, but generally speaking, the pain, 75 to 80 percent of the pain is really from unhappy muscles, like headaches and migraines and neck pains and, and all that. It all comes from, from that. So in our treatments, what we're trying to find is that harmonious position of where the jaw would be happy, the musculature would be happy the nerves would be happy. And then we try to figure out how to bring the teeth 